I was given a silver coin under the condition of creating a video about it. Free silver coin. Who would say no to that? All I knew was that it was a half crown Victoria. So, I unwrapped it, excited to uncover its story. To my surprise, it's an 1887 Victorian half crown jubilee head, in remarkable condition. Upon initial inspection, it appears to be VF or higher, though I tend to grade conservatively. There are no noticeable marks or dinks on the rim, just a few minor imperfections in the coin fields. Closer scrutiny reveals minimal wear, particularly on the three lions face and the lion rampant on the shield. Definitely not uncirculated. Looking at Victoria's veil and hair, there are slight signs of wear, indicating it's not entirely uncirculated. But the question remains is it almost uncirculated, a U. Grading a coin at a U. Always poses a challenge. It's tough to decisively categorize it as uncirculated or merely circulated. I usually refer to the Sheldon scale for grading due to its clarity, but I prefer caution to avoid overstating a coin's condition. The British grading scale with descriptions like, good fine, and, nearly VF, can be somewhat subjective, and the American 10-point scale isn't my preference either. For most collectors, absolute certainty often comes from professional grading, which can be a bit impractical in many cases. Next up, authenticity. Lacking access to sophisticated machines, I resort to methods like the magnet test, size measurement, and weighing the coin. Weight, 14.14 grams. Diameter, 32 millimeters. Width, 2 millimeters. These details align with the expected specifications, indicating its probable authenticity. Now, let's delve into mintage and varieties. A quick online search uncovers two primary varieties for the 1887 coin, the Young Head and the Jubilee Head. The Young Head has a significantly lower mintage of 261,747 compared to 1,176,299 for the Jubilee Head, making the former more sought after and consequently more expensive. Confirming the variety as the Jubilee Head is a significant step. Further exploration into the engravings by Sir Joseph Edgar Bohm and Leonard Charles Wyon adds historical depth to the coin. The inscriptions are intriguing. Victoria de Gracia, translates to, Victoria by the grace of God, Britannia R.U.M. Regina for Def, as, Queen of the Britons Defender of the Faith, and, Honi soit qui mal y pants, which means, shame on he who thinks evil of it. Then I decide how much I like this coin, I appeal, toning, design etc. I do like the design of this coin with the royal standard crown the three lions of England, lion rampant of Scotland and Irish harp and the very tiny George and the dragon between the date to name but a few. I have added some stills to the video to help. So do we know anything about value of this coin, we can check and find out about the silver content, it is 0.925 so sterling silver. That has a value all of its own as from today is about £7.85, now let's look at the numismatic value of the coin itself say an extra fine, EF, I use a variety of sources, for this information book price, auction sites, valuation sites, and eBay sold items. eBay sold item says £20 to £45, coin shops selling for £70 plus, valuation books price the coin at around £35. This will be added to my personal collection as it is a great example of this type of coin. Hope that has been helpful in understanding how I look and deal with coins. If you enjoyed this information, let me know in the comments below and give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell to stay updated with similar content.